First Peter chapter four, verse four. And it reads, they think it strange that you do not plunge with them into the same flood of dissipation and a heap of abuse on you. You made me see it. Made, the word the Lord gave me for you this morning is, for the subject is, don't change because the world think you're strange. Go up to the first verse and follow along with me. Therefore, since Christ suffered in his body, arm yourselves also with the same attitude. Because he who has suffered in his body is done with sin. As a result, he does not live the rest of his earthly life for evil human desires, but rather for the will of God. Brothers and sisters, we're going to start off first. You taking notes. We got to have a change of mind. We have to have a change of mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I remember why. You know, you got to have some repentance. You got to turn from your way. You got to turn from your way to Yahweh. Yeah, you got to turn from your way to Yahweh. You got to. You got to, you got to, you, you, you got to go to the Lord. You, you, you know, you got to change what you think and uh, what what you have going on in your life to what He has called you to do to His will. If, if we look a little bit deeper and dig into verse one a little bit more, therefore, since Christ is suffering in His body, arm yourselves also with the same attitude. Also, basically, that same attitude is the same mind. Basically, it's letting us know too that if we're Christians and we're following Jesus Christ then we're imitating the one that we're named after mm. whatever you elevate is what you will imitate mm. whatever you elevate is what you will imitate if it's anything in your life I don't care what it is if that's what you elevate if you're in the if you're in the sports, you're in the football, you're into a certain wide receiver. Guess what? If if it's a kid or someone trying to play, they they're gonna try to act and take on the role and take on the ways of that individual. For those who are the couch potatoes who are yelling at the the referees, you supposed to have that jersey of that individual. You watching this. Twitter and trying to catch up with his Facebook and following things they say, repeating it at the water cooler at the job. You 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 take another mind of him. You know you doing his dance when he come out the locker room and and when he score a touchdown. Yeah. You, that's 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 what you're doing. If it was a great professor that you had, someone who impacted your life in a certain way and, and changed you and took you on a different course and gave you an idea when you was lost and you didn't know where to go, you didn't know what your major was going to be, and it was someone who impacted your life through the course that you took for them, and did you know how to major in that, you double major, you minor in something else because of that individual, because they brought life to that occupation, they brought life to that career, you could see yourself adding value to people. And what you do is you see that light in them and so you take on that because you elevate that individual because of how they impacted your lives and you see how it influenced you and how it impacted you and you want to go on a journey also to carry on that legacy of impacting other people's lives the same way because you elevate them so you imitate them. Also, brothers and sisters, those are some good point of views, but also that's where we get the P O M E. Acronym for product of my environment. That's why we have today, brothers and sisters, where we 
have a culture of people who are following what they see through the different mediums, whether it's on the internet, where it's in their neighborhoods that they grow, this proverbs that we know what they elevate, they imitate. So we see brothers and, and we see young men and we see them imitating the local dope dealer. Mm. We see them imitating the local pimp. Mm. We see them imitating the, the characters that they see on the hip hop videos. Mm. Hey, what the hip hop star tell them that a woman is, that's what they think a woman is. Mm. Because they have no one in the home, because most of the time the father and their mother ain't there, or someone who's a guardian can't keep up with them so they can elevate them, so they can imitate the right characteristic that God wants us I'm to imitate. You're right. Because of lack of that in the household, because of lack of that in our culture, that's why we have our young ladies who do anything for the touch and the feel of a man. I know. If I got to give them my whole check, if, if, if I don't care if what my family says, I, I, I don't care if I even go to church, if he's not in the church, then I'm not in the church. If he like going and riding four wheels, I like going and riding four wheels. Amen. If he a cowboy, I'm a cowgirl. So the thing about it is, brothers and sisters, is what we elevate, we imitate. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's so important for us to be kingdom men and kingdom women and be about a kingdom agenda and following kingdom principles. To us. Because if we're following our Father in heaven, no matter what our earthly father has denied us on, no matter what the negligence has been in life, no matter where they came up short at, whether our mother wasn't there to touch us or whether no one spoke good words to us, no matter if the teacher told us that we wouldn't amount to anything. Mm. Brothers and sisters, we have the promises of God. If we follow him, then we will elevate who needs to be elevated, which is the most high God. Nah. And we will imitate his ways, and that will be taken on the mind of Christ. Yes, sir. Mm. A transformation and an elevation that will take us to salvation and sanctification. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, if we press on. You said yes, man. Yes, sir. As a result, he does not live the rest of his earthly life. Verse 2, I'm reading with, follow me. As a result, he does not live the rest of his earthly life for human desires, but rather for the will of God. Keep it more down. Change of behavior. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You there. What you talking about, Reverend? You got to change your mind. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the first step. That's the first step. Mm -hmm. But if you have a change of mind, you're going to have a change of behavior. Yes, sir. <laughs> What's the old saying? Where the head go, the body will follow. What my grandparents used to tell me, well, still tell me that. <laughs> yeah. where, where the head goes, the body will follow. Listen. I didn't really understand that. But, yeah, 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 the Lord knew that too. But there was some good wisdom in those old country sayings, you know. Yeah. And, and, and I look at it now, and I, and I see it all the time. Yeah. It's what you choose to see. It, if your mind changes... It's like if you have a true understanding of who Jesus is, then your behavior will change. Uh, the things that you used to do, you don't have the desire to do those all the time. Mm -hmm. Or even if the desire there, you still choose God's way. Mm -hmm. No matter if the flesh rising up or not, instead of just walling in your sin and being comfortable with your sin, you're uneasy now. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Change is going on. You know, a, a, a change of behavior. You show me a person without a change of behavior, and you show me a person who hadn't had a change of mind. Mm. Amen. If you say you're studying, we're going back to school a lot of us. You say you're studying, and, and you, you know, you say you want to make good grades, and you, you, you want to get on the dean's list, or you want to make the A on a roll, and you want to be a Texas scholar. Mm -hmm. But then at the same time, you're on the internet all night long, not studying, not looking up anything, not researching anything. 
You get notifications on your phone. Nah, look. Yeah, the latest 3D Superman movie, uh, what Wolverine has going on. You, you had all these little things, but at the same time, you haven't studied at all. You haven't read your chapter. You don't even know what's on your syllabus. You have no notes from the professor. You're trying to track and text your other classmates down, trying to find out what did they talk about because I overslept because I parted last night. Yeah. <laughs> Same way, brothers and sisters, that we look at our church lives. Ooh, boy. Yeah, I got to go there too. Ooh. Come on to us. And when we look on. at our church lives, if we had a change of mind, then we would have a change of behavior. Mm. So that means that no one would have to talk to you about time. Mm. You understand that that wasn't an intermission, that was a continuation of your worship. Amen. I like that. <laughs> Let me repeat that. It is not an intermission, but it's a continuation of your worship. Amen. It's not a grumbling moment. It's not a time to be mad at the pastor. It's not a time of, I'm ready to go. Here they go talking about money again at the church. You will understand every aspect of your life is for the Father. Mm. You would have this alter ego lifestyle. You would have this this church lifestyle and then your regular lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I don't understand what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> let, 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 let me go. Let me look at this again then. Okay. Your church lifestyle, well, you sister and brother so and so, and you look dignified, you put your little nice dudes on your church clothes on, and you walk in, how you doing, sir? How you doing, ma'am? And, and you do the right things and all that, but then at the same time, if somebody pushed those buttons the wrong way, uh, no. your, your mind's still the same way when you're in the pews, you know. You got you got a lot of people who just come to the church to check out the women in the church. No, I know. To see if there's any single men in the church. Mm. You hadn't heard nothing about what the pastor said. Oh, you trying to see who went up there and prayed? And well, you you're not praying for them. You wonder you wonder what they did wrong. Well, no, I heard I heard they was in the paper the other day that he got arrested, girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to check Man, yourself change. and see if your behavior is the same. Cause people are bringing the world right into the church, mm -hmm. right into these pews. That's why the Church of God is not being the powerhouse that it needs to be, mm -hmm. and because. It hasn't been a change of mind. The behavior hasn't changed. Mm. On Sunday, you dick and with uh, you dick and William, and then on Saturday night, you slick with it. Ah. <laughs> my, my, my. All right, Paul, no, I, I mean, we, we got, we got, we got, no we got. We, it's, 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 it's no change of behavior. No. You know. You know, you, 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 you know, you, you, you know, you, uh, prophet is evil on Sunday, yeah. and then you, you sexy baby on the internet late at night on the chat line. No. Amen. Listen, listen. And last time I checked, I had someone who hit me with a message. They said, Reverend, ChristianSingles.com ain't too Christian. Oh, no. My Lord. Ooh. Everybody worried about Facebook and Twitter then, you know, the website with the Christians looking for day love for the Christians. Everybody ain't too sanctified on that. Man, man. The, the same action you find at the local bar, the local club is going on on the Christian single uh, website. Yeah, Brothers and sisters, thing is, to bring this all together is, it's a change of behavior for change of mind. Hey. Brothers and sisters, if you line up with God's word, That's if you understand that it's not about how you feel, not about how you think. The earthly life of evil human desires, but you have the will of God. The will of God is loving up. The will of God is having compassion. Amen. The, uh, the will of God Amen. is getting out of yourself, living a righteous lifestyle. What can I do to others? How can I add value to others? How can I spend more time with my family? How can I mend broken relationships? Mm. And it's not about I, it's how can I be available and able for God to use me to be an instrument and an intricate part to be a blessing to someone. If we focus more on who we are in Christ, understand that he has a reason for us to be here. 
He has a duty for us to do while we're here about at this time. And it's not about us just coming here on this world and thinking just evolution just happened and we just here to do what we want to, spend what we want to, and party how we want to, and do what we want to. And then we don't know what's going to happen at the end, but hopefully they come up with something that we can be reincarnated. That's a lot of people's mindset. But you got to have a change of behavior. And we look on in the, the text and we go through verse 3. For you have spent enough time in the past doing what pagans choose to do. For you have spent enough time in the past doing what pagans chose to do. Well, what do pagans do? Living in debauchery, lust, drunkenness, orgies, carousing, and detestable adultery. They think it's strange that you did not plunge with them in the same flood of dissipation, mm -hmm. and they heap abuse on you. Mm -hmm. But they will have to give account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. <coughs> Brothers and sisters, if you have the change of mind, which will affect the change of behavior. Gotcha. Also, Third, thirdly, if you change your mind and you change your behavior for God, you will have a change of destiny. <clears throat> change your mind. Change your behavior. Mm -hmm. That's a form. Mm -hmm. That's a good sequence. You, you put that in your calculator, you, you'll solve the problem of life every time. I know. You just add that in that's a formula key. A change of mind plus a change of behavior equals a change of destiny. Oh, if we God. look at the scriptures here, you know, get all, get out of those old ways. Get yeah. out of what the world is doing. I think all of us can give a testimony or testify that these things that I just spoke of is still going on. Man, man. Living in debauchery, it, it's still going on. Lust, it's still going on. Drunkenness, it's still going on. Orgies, it's still going on. Carousing, it's still going on. The test of adultery, it's still going on. Brothers and sisters, look at it. Look at verse 4. This is what the Bible's saying. If you want to know if the Bible is relevant, if you just think it's something in the Middle East with some people named that we can't pronounce and that is not relevant for you right now in our great capitalist country in 2013, it has nothing to do with you. That's an old history book that they sit on a living room and on the good table and where the good furniture and nobody never goes in there and the dust all over it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> You're wrong. If we look at this, we can tell in verse 4, the A part of that verse, they think it's strange that you do not plunge with them. Mm. They think it is strange. For you being here this morning, it's people think that you're strange. Mm. you going, what? That early in the morning? Oh, Are you serious on Sunday? Yeah. That's my me time. I, got, I, I need to wash my car up at that time. Well, Reverend, I got to get stuff prepared so the game come on later on now. I know that's right. Yeah. Now, how am I going to do that? You, Saturday night, I just got in by 5 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. We just left Waffle High. <laughs> you talking about going to church? <laughs> but thank God we, we look at verse 5. But they will have to give account to him who is ready to judge the living and dead. Going into verse 6. For this is the reason the gospel was preached, even to those who are now dead, so that they might be judged according to men in regard to the body, but live according to God in regard to the spirit. <coughs> Brothers and sisters. Only God can change mm. our destiny by a change of mind and a change of behavior. We can change our destiny. And don't look at this singular, but have a plural meaning 
when look when you look at this. Because guess what? When you change your mind with the help of the Holy Spirit and your behavior change and your destiny changes where your eternal life will be, which will be in heaven with God. Look at the impact of that. Not only is the change going on with you, your destiny change, that, that's great. That, that's wonderful. That, that's a blessed thing. You know, hey, we will want you in hell. We, we want you to live a great, prosperous life while you're here in every area of your life. But look at what it does for as legacy. Look how it affects those who have kids, those who have grandkids, those who don't have kids. Look at what your life represents for someone else who is just a friend, who's a co-worker, who's a classmate, who's a colleague. People who know you, knew what you have been through, seen your life, or seen how you affected them by just your gentleness and your meekness when they see you at the grocery store. Uh, how do you act when they see you at the gas station and you pump the gas? How do they see you conduct yourself and see where you're going on your route when they see you going to church? Or seeing how you're hipping out in the community, seeing how they're giving you your time when they work 12 hours and they just don't see how you get up to be able to share like real wise with the, the young men or they don't see why would you in your age when you retire why would you be doing something like that why would you be wasting your time so to speak and going to prison with people who did bad things they deserve to be in there why would you spend your time getting up earlier going to Sunday school right? why would you take your time to get your resources to give to a church or to give to a young person or take your time to teach someone how to read or how to write. Why would you give your time where everybody come out of dollars out of your pocket to make sure that the hungry are able to be fed and able to be closed? Right. Why would you give your time for all these things? Because God has changed your mind. He has changed your behavior and he has changed your destiny. So as the old hymn says, my little light, I'm going to let it shine. And I'm going to let it shine, shine, shine. So if I let my light shine, yes, sir. then it will illuminate to the world and the world will be able to elevate. Praise the Lord. That's what we're here for. We're here for the world to elevate to the standards of God. Not compress God and try to put him in a box and get caught up in all our little things that we have going on. We want to elevate the word up to his standards, people. We have love for everyone. We don't care if, if, you know, I hear stuff all the time. Hey, sex trafficking is, is, is bad. And it's for real. It goes on. But you know what? What we have to do is make sure, and I'm closing, that we have a godly mindset. Brothers and sisters, last time I checked, God is for all. But we're so worried about the ladies it's, it's, it's a lot of ladies out there, and I know they focus a lot on the children also, which need to be addressed. But brothers and sisters, God loves the pimps too. I don't know. You got straight there. See, if you, if you can kind of start fixing the problem of what's turning these men this way up, what's messing with their heart, you can change a lot of the other things if you go to the source. Amen. But I said that to say to change your mind because the mind of Christ is for everyone. The mind of Christ is the one who's seen a Saul and knew he could be a Paul. And that's the mind that we need to have. Don't let us have our little thought processes because God is for everyone. It's no one that God can't save. And so I said that as an example. So when we go out there, that we not have a veil over our face where we're seeing it through our perception, but let's see it through the lenses of Jesus and his love and his compassion for all. May God bless you. And may you have a blessed day. The doors of the church are now open. Ciao. If the brethren could please come.